Math story Rectangle and its basic properties The pole mystery Samper town is all dark today The oldest light pole has fallen Everybody is sad and worried Children we need to construct a new pole I will quickly get the raw material Squero can you help me Squero joins him Uncle Math and Squero are back with the raw material. To test the kids, Uncle Math assigns them the task of pole construction. The kids are super excited to take up the challenge. I will go and get the light bulb from my lab. Meanwhile, you all can start your pole construction. I will make a circular pole. Sirha, let us work as a team. We will win this challenge. Sira agrees and joins him. Squares are strong. I will make a square pole. This pole will not fall for many years. The triangle pole will be good. The slanted sides will also help us fix the light easily. They begin making their poles. Uncle Math is back and surprised to see the constructed poles. Do you think these short poles will help in lightening the entire lane? No. How about making taller versions of these poles? Then they will be long and light up the place as well. Yes, but don't you think such huge poles will also take up a lot of space? If the pole is circular, it will be difficult to balance. If the pole is triangular or square, it will be short and would require more raw material. So we need to construct a pole that is neither too wide nor too large to take up a lot of space. Let us make the pole in the rectangle shape. But the kids are confused. Uncle Math starts constructing the pole and asks the kids to follow him. Together, they quickly build the pole. Look at this pole carefully. What do you see? This pole has two long sides and two short sides opposite to each other. The long sides are helping it to stand tall. The short sides are providing good support without taking any extra space. Uncle Math is proud of him. Finally, they all fix the light on the rectangular pole. Hurrah! Light is back. Sample Town is all bright and shining now. It is a moment of joy and happiness for everyone. We learned that a rectangle has four sides. Two sides are longer and two sides are shorter. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Rectangle shape helps us in building tall objects. Participation is more important than winning. Let's discuss. What is the name of our town? In which shape did I make the pole initially? In what shape did Uncle Matt decide to make the new pole? Why? Instead of scolding us for not completing the task, Uncle Math appreciated our efforts. Is this correct? How do you feel when you do not complete any task? How do you overcome this feeling? Follow us on Fun To Do Labs to enjoy watching more such math stories, songs and games.